I love fishing with Captain Frank. Niagara Region Charters is the name of his outfit. The water temperature is staying a little bit cold. It's 57, 58 degrees. So the steelhead are still around, still just getting done spawning. There's a few lake trout around, and it's really the end of the cold water species season and the beginning of the warm water species season. So we have a big mix of different types of fish in here right now. We came into that destination a little late. In the day, you mean? In the day. Yeah, we were a little late. And what did, and what did Captain Frank, Frank say? He said, let's go. He says, get here and let's, we'll give it the good old college try and we'll see what we can get. I'm always confused if we're here early or late or right on time because you know why? The bite's always here. It is always here. What would you say? Now listen, seriously, 30 fish? A bunch. It was a bunch. A bunch. It doesn't feel like a smolly. It might be a steely. Your guess is as good as mine, and I live here. That fishery is awesome. And we're going to see, I believe we've got a steelhead now. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no. Angling the Great Lakes is presented by the Culver Marina, your one stop for fun on the water. The Schwartz Group, prepare for the road ahead. And Niagara, USA, unbelievable, unforgettable. Also made possible by these fine sponsors. We were on the part of the river that they call Devil's Hole. Exactly. Frank knows that really well. And that's probably what, about a 200 yard drift. And I like the technique. Basically yeah. you start at the top of that, of that hole and you, that boat drifts either sideways or it back drifts, right, with the current. And you're bottom bouncing, uh, usually a minnow. Bottom lip, top lip. Perfect. This is the rig we run for everything. Three way swivel setup. A uh, leader to a small number six, number eight Mustad, and a drop shot to a uh, sinker, a drop line to a sinker. It's, yeah, it's pretty simplistic. Just go ahead and drop yep, it down. Yep, you can drop right to the bottom. If you get a snag, just point it right at it. What, I wasn't even down 30 seconds? Not even 30 seconds. He goes, here's how you do it. He goes, you're going to feel the bottom. And I went, ooh, I feel a fish. Forget <laughs> the bottom, here's a fish. You know, and the thing about it was, is you could feel the bottom, tick, 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 and all of a sudden it was there. Do we have it? You know, it was just pretty good. Stuttered there because I thought we had a double. I couldn't guarantee it was a steelhead, but now I can. Now it's a nice fish. <laughs> just reel right to that swivel for me, Brian. Coming right up there. We're actually catching these fish on bass tackle, so that, you know you gotta. We just went over a big rock. We're just done spawning, and they're uh, they're back in pretty good shape, so they're fighting hard, as you can see. That. There we go, there fellas. We go. All right. <laughs> First All right. Niagara steelhead of the day. You know what? This this is great. I I love this fishery for this. I don't care what time of the year you come here, early, late. I'm always confused if we're here early or late or right on time because you know why? The bite's always here. It is always here. These fish right now are just getting done spawning, and we're in June. You're not supposed to be catching steelhead in a river in June, but right. the river's big enough that it, oh. I'm he trying to get my line away from it, but I think he's kind of wrapped well, up. Well, he's going he's gonna to play the... Uh, he's going to dance a little bit. The re, re fish. That fish is a little bit skinny. His tail's rubbed from spawning. We'll let him go. And yeah, absolutely. Get her back out in the lake. What a beautiful fish.
<laughs> this is this is another species in here. It's a smallmouth. <laughs> hey! All right, now, folks. I tell you what. This is what's fun about fishing Niagara, right here. You just never, never, never know. Right here. This is my favorite. My favorite is smallmouth fishing. And this back at home where we fish is a, is a trophy size fish. Now obviously they get bigger up here, which we'll be going for those here in a couple days. But I tell you what, this is a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Look bonus. It's like a bonus. You, it's, it is like a bonus. You, know, you never know what you're going to get. It doesn't really matter what time of the year. It's just a matter of, you know, if you're going after steelhead today, we could possibly catch lake trout, bass. I got a fish on right there. Hey, all right, all right, <laughs> bonus. You know, I hate when I get interrupted. Yeah, that's oh, right. Heads up. There we go. That's well, a we, saw him. we saw. We yeah, saw. That's I, a quick. A nice smallmouth. The nice smallmouth. You know what? Better than yours. You know what? <laughs> of course. Well, of course they got away. You know what this is like? It's like ordering filet mignon and getting shrimp added to it for free. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. I think it's a smallie. Molly? I think so. We're gonna start taking bets on what what type of fish it is. It's got all the characteristics of a smallmouth. All the characteristics of a nice smallmouth. The neat thing about these smallmouth is that the river smallmouth, yeah. it's like they work out in the current every day. So they're, <laughs> so they're, they're tough. They're much stronger. They are tough. Really Look at that guy. He is a all muscle. Okay, he wants to stick me. You hooked up? I'm hooked up. Got a, got a fish here, got a double going. Gary, do you still got your smile? How about a triple? How about a triple? <laughs> oh no, that's a nice smallie. What do you got, a big smile? Look at the size of the smallie. <laughs> I'm going to need my 35 millimeter camera out of the bag. Fire drill. Okay. Hey, Gary, can you Gary? Grab Yeah. Oh, that little fish. <laughs> can you get the net, Gary? I'm, <laughs> I'm a little sure. occupied right now. I know you had your fish, too. What do you got in there? I don't know the small. He's not quite as nice as yours. Look at that nice fish. Holy smokes. See, Brian? <laughs> now that's a dandy. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I love these fish. I love it. I love this. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> Frank's, Gotta love it. Frank's my favorite guy. I oh, love this, man. Guys. And I threw mine back. <laughs> oh, where is it? You did, didn't you? Well, I, I was occupied with getting the net All right, yours brute. is bigger. I'm going to let mine go. <laughs> OK, who wants a minnow? I knew we could do it. I knew it could get you to catch a fish, just one. Yeah. Not your uh, limit. We hit the Niagara River at the time of the year where that fishery goes from a cold water fishery to a warm water fishery. And we hit that perfectly in a transition. And this is why we caught all of those different species of fish. Hey! Now what do I win for that? <laughs> It's a hard one to predict. It's just not doing things right. It's not, it doesn't feel like a smallie. Doesn't feel like a smallie. It might be a steely. Could be a big smallie. Could be a. Whatever. Your guess is as good as mine, and I live here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good fish. They're all good. Some are just a little better than others. That's true. This fish wants to go to the bottom. And we're going to see, I believe we got a steelhead now. Excellent. Let's see. Oh no, a catfish, a channel cat. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Talk about a mixed bag. It's a cornucopia. Oh no. <laughs> How could that be? Well, I didn't want to disappoint. You know, only get four, four species. Let's go for five. <laughs> Niagara, a true mixed bag. It, you know, like I said, it's the transition time. We're going from cold water steelhead, warm water bass, catfish. We've caught carp. Yeah. What next? What next? That's right. You've caught the cold water fish, 
okay? We caught the smallmouth and we caught the uh, steel the steelhead, and then we were catching the warm water fish. We, really, we were catching the. What really was interesting was that we got we caught nice steelhead. Yes, in beautiful, the river at that beautiful time. Beautiful trophy steelhead. It was great. I feel like I think great species because it's coming right up. It gives me an indication it's a steelhead. He's coming right at me to 100 miles an hour. Hell yeah. He's coming up. He's coming up. <laughs> oh, big nice. Yes, it's a steelhead. I yeah. think he gave himself away. Now you know. Now you know. My I, my line's still down, but I got the. Uh, got the net. The whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. This time of the year, they are hot. They're feisty. Eight pound test, light, light action rods. And, uh, he's still, he just came at the boat. That was our biggest issue why he's here so quick. Yeah. Oh, he, stay, stay, stay. Good. Yeah, hey, but guys. we're fishing with professionals. No, this ain't good. <laughs> this ain't good at all. Okay, here. Watch this. This ain't good at all. The fish is not tangled yet, though. Thank goodness. <laughs> this ain't good at all. It's all good. It's all, all good. great now. It's all what you make of it. And then you have a wild steelhead, two rods. <laughs> That's what makes it adventure. That's it. Whoa, whoa. Stay up here, Nelly. I'm trying to conquer these fish with lighter line. Light line. <laughs> Good job. Hey, take, hey. The net man deserves credit. He That's right. You know what? Every once in a while, you got to take the net to the fish. <laughs> I thought he was going to jump in after it. Uh, all right. That right. Yep, I'm going to take care of her. She's she's a little bit wilded up. Yeah. Wires? Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to cut, cut that hook. OK. It's not caught in a net, but let's get her. Get, get her, her going up. as quick as we can. Yeah, get her back. Spot, the water's warm, 58, 59 degrees. Beautiful steelhead. Boy, Just got done spawning. See all the spawn marks? Oh, yeah. She's heading back out to the lake, and we're going to let her go there. Excellent. Yes, baby. When you think of Niagara Falls, you think of the lovebird connection, you think of the destination to go to for honeymooning. You don't necessarily think fishing. I'm here to tell you that that lower Niagara River, yeah. absolutely phenomenal fishing. My gosh, how many species can you catch? If you oh, think about it. Yeah. And there are, you know, all the lake trout, the different salmon, right. steelhead. Small mouth. And uh, we caught a carp. We caught a catfish. Wait, who caught the carp? Uh, did I catch the carp? Or did you catch the carp? No, I caught the big goby. Oh, uh, that's right. You caught the big goby. I must have had the catfish. I can't carp. remember, but anyway. I can't it's remember. Film. It's all on it film. Out. That's right. What the world is this? It's another species. You're not going to like that. It's another species. Turn the camera off. So he did. <laughs> what did you catch? Show us the camera. She said, that's what happens to old fishermen. We, we conveniently lose our memory. We got a drift coming down. He's controlling the drift with the trolling motor to slow us down and put us in position where the fish are. And then it's just basically a vertical jig process. You want to be down at the bottom and just off the bottom. Occasionally touch the bottom, moving around a little bit. They're there fishing with uh, shiner minnows. There you go. What do you got? Fish. Yeah. My God, you know it might have been. Oh, it's a small one. Small one. Good small one. Oh, it's not a huge one. No. They are feisty. Hither and yawn. Yeah, fish on. Yay, fish on. Wild fish on. We're just stealing again. 
one of the biggest keys is matching your equipment to these fish. If you don't have a nice soft stiff rod, you're going to lose them if you have too heavy of a rod. You want a soft rod that can take the, take, absorb some of the runs that he's making. And we were just trying to tire him out a little bit with the eight pound test and then when we get him back to the boat, he'll be a little bit more under control, hopefully. He's coming back over to this side, so we're going to swing him right around here. Pretty fish. This fish is a lot chromer. He's, he's actually oh, done that. spawning, and fish. he's pretty much heading right out into the lake. And we're going to lead him right in, into the net. Into the net? <laughs> no, I was trying to lead him into the net. A little longer arms there, Brian. <laughs> I know it. He just decided he didn't want to come in the net. No, he was coming, and then he said, nah, 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 yeah. I don't think so. Not yet. These guys are like a quartet. That's it. Uh, yeah, the net. <laughs> nah. I like that. <laughs> nah. He's coming this time because he's tired. He's tired. You got him whooped. Attaboy, Brian. Oh, look at the size at of that one. That hog. Oh, this time of the year, hog, hog, That's a beauty. That is a gorgeous steelhead. care who you are, this fishery this time of the year is great. Awesome. awesome. Small mouth bass. Excellent. We're not, we're not able to catch steelhead at this point because the smallmouth are biting. Well, that's all right. Oh, I know. There's nothing wrong with that. We got a, we got a, we got a little tangle going. Are, are we done? Uh, no. I can't see. They might need a nut. No. We're... We didn't bring her. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, there's one. Molly for you. Molly for me, and I don't know whose is whose, but <laughs> that's all right. They're <laughs> identical twins, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Look at that. I'm trying for the double header, baby. I'm trying for the steelhead. You know, back at home though, these are quality fish. Well, they're quality fish anywhere. What are you kidding? There's nothing wrong with them. It's just, you know, I guess we're, we're after the smorgasbord today. I mean, yeah. we're targeting steelhead, but we'll take anything. If it wants to bite and fight, this, it's a this. good thing. It's a little bit. <laughs> that means you're pulling him across the top. He's a water skier. <laughs> you know what, though? It's still fun. I'll take him. I'll take every one of them. Absolutely. What a blast. What a blast. I don't think we did half bad. Caught a lot of nice fish. Yeah, we did. Had a nice day. Niagara Falls, USA, we go every year. We've been going now for the last four years. Uh, and I We wanna... need an invite back. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, and they're gracious people. These guys were the best two fishermen I had on the boat today. Okay. So we're the only, are we the only fishermen yeah, you had on the boat today? <laughs> <laughs> I can resemble that remark. <laughs> if I'm the only guy on the boat, then I'm the best fisherman on the boat, and I don't even care. I'm fine with that. 
I am fine with that. I had a wonderful evening. What yeah. about you, Brian? Absolutely. This is always fun here. Always. And for a quick drop in, just to see what the river bite's doing before we hit the lake, too. This is the best. The best. Absolutely the best. Yes, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thank you, Frank. Oh, you're welcome. Folks, take your families. You can go with the guys. That's fun, too. But take your families. You there is well. so much to do. If they want to fish, you can let them fish. If they don't want to fish, they'll let you go fish, and then they'll go do the rapid rides. They'll go do all kinds of different things that just have an absolute blast. Angling the Great Lakes is presented by the Culver Marina, your one stop for fun on the water. The Schwartz Group, prepare for the road ahead. And Niagara, USA, unbelievable, unforgettable. Also made possible by these fine sponsors. Dressed me up in women's clothes, messed around with gender roles. Dye my eyes and call me pretty. <laughs> Where's the launch? Oh, I'm starting to worry. <laughs> I know. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you can sing all you want as long as we keep catching fish. I don't care. Frank is saying that that's what's making the smallmouth so big because that's what the smallmouth are eating, are those gobies. They are soft. Try and feel this thing. It's like... Last time he asked me to do that, we almost got arrested. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is. It's real soft. 